Hello YouTube, it is your boy Spineline here, and today we're actually going to be talking about a Walking Dead character that everybody does not know of. And this is for the people who watch the TV show, and that's actually like all they watch, and they don't read the comic. And now, since this character, Negan, was introduced into the show, people are wondering, who is he? Why is he gonna kill one of our people? And, and all that. And that's why we are here to discuss about him and talk about him. Because I know a lot about Negan. He's one of my favorite characters. And um, he's basically, first off, he's basically the worst person you want to run into. And, yeah. So that's what we're here today to discuss about. So, hopefully you guys like this video. Now, the way us TV show watchers got introduced by Negan was that when Daryl, Sasha, and Abraham were driving in the truck... You know, um, I forgot what, they were leaving Alexandria going back, no, they were going back to Alexandria. They saw a couple of bikers and got met by this guy. Now, this guy was basically saying, um, give us all your stuff, all your stuff that is in the truck, your napkins, everything, your guns, belongs to Negan. And if they didn't give it, he was going to kill them. So everybody was saying that they thought he was his right-hand man, but he was not. Now, he was saying, now all your stuff belongs to Negan. Now they were all, now they said, who's Negan? But long story short, he said, the biker guys was like saying, he was going to kill them and then Negan's going to kill you guys. But soon enough, Daryl came out with a rocket launcher, blew them the smithereens with the rocket launcher, and that was the end of the bikers. And then it started a whole entire war. And that's what we're going to be talking about right after this. Now, what caused this big war was that since Daryl killed Negan's men in the show, it was the same way in the comic. Rick's people killed Negan's men, which made this whole thing, which Negan didn't really appreciate Rick killing his men. And even in the show and in the comic, he stated, you killed my men, so I sent more men to kill your men, and you killed my men again. Which does not make me happy. Now, since Negan said that, Rick is scared no matter what. Because he knows he's wrong. And there was no chance Rick was getting out of this. He was powerless. Rick it was scared of his life at this point. So now that's when Negan's men chases them down, kidnaps them, brings them to his facility. I'm just going to call it a facility. His little battleground place. Negan takes them there, confronts them, and... All stuff breaks loose. Negan is threatening them, telling them, you killed my men when I sent more men out there so that they can confront you and kill you. But they kept on killing each other. They kept on killing the men. And it, it was just a back and forth conflict. And then, you know what? Negan decides, you killed all my people. Why not I kill your people? Which, he kills someone that was very special to us, which we're going to discuss here. Now, once Negan brings everybody to his base, kidnaps him, he has to basically, well, he makes everybody kneel. Makes Glenn, Maggie, Rick, Sophia, I think Sophia was still alive, Michonne, Carl, they all kneel into like almost like a little oval circle kind of deal. Now, he simply can't decide. So he's like, you killed one of my men, I kill one of yours. So he just went off and did any mini money mo. And, of course, it lands on Glenn, causing Glenn to get his head bashed. And everybody was watching in scaredness. They were scared. They were crying. Maggie was, like, crying. She didn't know what to do. She was in shock. She was shaking. And as Glenn's getting his, his head bashed in by Negan, the one thing he says, his last word, was Maggie, screaming it as loud. And Negan says, Wow, you're really taking it like a champ. And then when he's trying to speak, scream Maggie, he, Negan goes like, oh, you're trying to speak? Well, I hit you so hard, your eye popped out of your skull. And he keeps on repeatedly bashing him in the head. Finally, Glenn gets his last word, screaming Maggie. And that was, the, that was it. Now, the most saddest part about that was that Glenn was the one who actually brought Rick home to Lori and Carl. If it wasn't for Glenn, I don't know if Rick would ever meet his family again. Now, that's why Rick always honored Glenn. And definitely now, he's always going to remember Glenn in his heart. 
after he got bashed. Well, after talking about one of our favorite characters getting bashed, let's talk about something else. The governor versus Negan. What are the differences between Negan and the governor? So let's get into that right about now. Now, the differences between Negan and the governor is, first off, Negan does not rape and does not kill women, unlike the governor, as you see here. As you see, the governor does kill Lori at the attack of the prison, unlike Negan, how he does not kill women or anything else like that. Now, another way that is different is that the governor made a little sanctuary place called Woodbury for the people, how he basically let in. Now, what Negan does is that he says, Listen, give me your stuff, and I'll clear a pathway for you. Just like in the comic, he clears a pathway to Alexandria, and he looks at Rick and all them and says, Go go, take a walk around. I cleared all the walkers, so go take a look around, and we'll get our stuff. So basically, how people survive off of Negan, I'll give you everything I have and everything I find, as long as you protect us from the walkers. And now, that's another difference between those two. Now, here's a couple facts for you about Negan. First off, he curses a lot. He drops the F-bonds a lot. As you can see in the text, you know, every single... There's not even one page of Negan dialogue that does not curse. And that's just one fact. One other fact is that his wife's name is Lucille. And that's his baseball bat's name, Lucille. And that's what we actually think so far is because in the new comic, like little strips of the comic... Here's Negan, his wife, like, someone fell out of bed and you heard, and then he screamed Lucille, and basically that's what he named his bat, and he wears a leather jacket all the time, he curses a lot, he has a baseball bat with me that's named Lucille, he loves killing walkers, his right hand man is Dwight, you know, it's, it's not that much information about Negan, you can easily just see it from, like, a, you open up one page, of it, and you see who it is, and you understand Negan. He's kind of funny, and sometimes he does get messed up. The way he lets off his anger is by cursing or by smashing someone's brain out with Lucille. So what? The world is already messed up with the with the Walking Dead, and a lot of people like that about him, and just find that a little enthusiasm from him in so many different ways. Now, what a lot of people like to do is compare Negan and Rick. Now, they can easily compare each other. Rick basically has a group. Negan has a group, you know. Now, Negan and Rick is actually not that off from each other. Rick goes around and kills people. Like, Rick is my favorite character. Then it's Negan. Then it's so on. But Rick does go around. Like, at Hilltop, he kills one of the men or something like that. One of the bad guys or... The one that killed that guy who stabbed him. I'm, I'm totally forgetting his name, but we're focused on Negan right now. Now, Rick does kill him, and Negan does go around killing other people, smashing their brains out, but Nick, I mean, but Rick um, does just stab them and basically kills them. Now, Negan and Rick are somewhat alike also by leading a group, being the leader around, and basically having a lot of control and knowing what to do by themselves. They do express their anger in many different ways, and it's not that hard. That's It's very little to compare them to, because one's really bad and messed up, and the other one really isn't that messed up, and not that many. But they both had wives, they both are leaders, you know, but Negan seems more scarier than Rick at some point of the storyline. And sometimes Negan and Carl talk to each other, and uh, Negan shows him how to show respect. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do, if you guys want to, you can subscribe. And if you want, you can leave a like. I will see you guys later. Spidemine out. Peace.